Hey, Maria, back with another video. Okay, I'm on my lunch break, and I'm headed home. Um, I pretty much get there and then, you know, do what I have to do and then come right back around, but I enjoy being, uh, you know, alone. I like being at my house for lunch. I don't know. I just do. Um, maybe because I'm a homebody. I don't know. Whatever. But anyhow, um, I wanted to make this video uh, and talk about healing process of dealing with trauma and, um, avoiding any sort of um, outside so-called professional help is the best thing for a targeted individual. Oftentimes, if you are a targeted individual, people will recommend taking antidepressants or some sort of uh, medication. And I, you know, I, I can't tell other people what to do, but in my case, I'm going to say no. Um, I would suggest that, you know, you not do that, but, you know, everybody's situation is different. I don't need medication for a problem that's real okay all my problems that I've experienced in the past looking back I now realize the source of my problem was the gang stalking I mean it, it does it puts you on edge it makes you nervous it makes you depressed it scares you half to death um, you're in a constant state of fear um, all of it and you don't really know the source you just know that you're dealing with weird awkward social situations um, you're always feeling threatened because people are threatening you, threatening you in various ways and um, and you're scared so I mean obviously that to uh, um, other people it's gonna look like well something's wrong you know and really that's not the case that the case is is that you're a victim of gang stalking so now I'm at a point right now where I'm trying to heal and and I, I have to say that I have picked up a little bit you know like I can tell my moods shifting it's a it's a very slow process it's not like I can just snap my fingers and everything is you know great um, I will say that um, you know I have a little bit more energy like this weekend I did make the pillow covers I made two pillow covers yay and I also made a refrigerator magnet which is a little ladybug it was pretty cute which I haven't made any felt art in a long time but I actually did this time um, made something and um, I might go back to doing you know more of my little crafts uh, more often um, as time goes on and see how things go but and though I don't want to do that for a living I have no intention of doing it for a living it's a hobby okay it's just a hobby that's all I like to do for my hobby it's just a stress relief okay it does not satisfy the main need in me when it comes to what I want to do for a living okay so the collective is very different I mean I just I can so glad that I've heard from them and dangerous people um but it's relaxing, you know, and I enjoy doing that. And plus, you know, I like, you know, making my own things. So um, I, I'm slowly but surely getting my, um, you know, getting back to myself, you know what I mean? And so it takes, it's a process, you know. Now, um, some people say, well, you need to go out and meet new people and stuff. You know, I'm still, I don't know what to expect from the town. I really don't. Um, other than my regular routine, I have no idea. And right now, I don't really feel as though I'm ready to go out and talk to anybody at this point. You know, um, maybe later, but right now, no. Um, meaning, I'm not going to go out. I, don't, I might go to the flea market. Well, maybe next week. Next week, I'm sorry. Yeah. Next weekend, I might go to the flea market. But, you know, um, you know, I'm not the kind of person that really has a bunch of a social life. You know what I mean? I mean, like, I have plans that I want to do, and I've always wanted to do constructive work, um, you know, as far as, you know, projects and stuff like that, um, and it's very difficult to find competent people, it really is, and, and being able to trust anybody is, is going to be very difficult for me, but right now, I'm just mostly focused on, you know, how, how am I doing, you know, am I getting enough sleep, um, am I sleeping okay? Uh, am I experiencing flashbacks? Am I experiencing um, any sort of nervous conditions that I was experiencing when I was living, you know, at my my other place or anything? And then I feel a lot better. Um, I think I made the best decision for me. I can't, you know, I'm I can't speak for everybody, but for me, this was the best decision to leave, um, and I feel better. I do feel better. Um, I spoke with Piggy last night, basically was giving him some information relating to like a utility bill or something, like the rent, rent bill or whatever. 
giving you the address and whatever, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm being civil, okay, but, you know, it's like, uh, I feel like keeping in contact with other TIs is really important, too, um, it's nice when I hear from other TIs, even if I just get a comment from them, it's nice, you know, um, it keeps me, you know, feeling like I'm not, like, so socially isolated, but, um, most of the time I do, I feel empowered by being by myself, I really do, but, I mean, isolation is something that I don't want to fall into completely, but, um, you know, I feel as though, you know, who can how am I going to trust people right now? And so I have to take it one day at a time. And I think that's realistic. Okay. Some people might think, well, you're just being so standoffish. Okay. Um, I have been mobbed out of every job. I've had people play with my employment. I've had people psychologically abuse me. So it's, it's very, it should be understandable that I'm not going to just, you know, get around and start talking and, and developing you know, starting up conversations with just anybody. This is a very, very um, emotionally taxing program, I must say. So, but other than that, you know, I feel a lot better about um, a lot of other things. And um, we'll see how things go. All right. I could have slept a little bit more today um, last night, really. Um... I went to bed pretty late last night, about 10 ish. Um, I'm going to try to get to bed a little bit earlier tonight. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Who knows? But, um, you know, it's every day, it's, it's just little by little, I'm trying to get myself back together. And, um, and I'll feel much better once I know what's going on with my work issues, you know, and I, I don't know. Um, but I would like to get all of this to be forgot. I want to forget all of it. All of it. I mean, I need to see no more signs of it. I don't want to see it anymore. I don't want to be any part of that. And I think once that happens, I will feel completely better. Um, yeah, it's, it's been hell. It really has been. And I'm hoping, you know, I want to talk a little bit more later on about domestic violence, domestic issues, domestic abuse. Um, because, you know, it, it's like one, of, one sign of a domestic abuse is when somebody tries to gain ultimate control over a woman. And like, for example, some men will let it make it so that women, their wives can't work at all. Uh, they might limit their income. They might do all kinds of stuff. And that is often a tip off that you're in an abusive relationship. I will say that, you know, I'm right now I'm a little reluctant to ever think about ever being in a relationship again, only because... I'm so devastated by somebody actually taking it upon themselves to control so much out of my life. That That's just like, wow. You know, I feel completely, I'm just disturbed by it. Um, whether that be his mom, Esther, or whoever, or whoever. I don't know exactly the main person who pulled those strings, but I'm going to tell you, I'm disturbed by it. Um, I will say that... Um, you know, if, if I was to ever be with somebody, like, you know, um, find someone to give my incredible emotional, um, attachment to, okay, because, you know, I'm, a, I'm, if once you, you know, I'm a good person, okay, so, I mean, obviously, you know, I'm not going to waste my time on trash, okay, I will say this, but, Whoever, if ever, I will ever find someone else again, I will tell you one thing. I, this person will be financially stable on their own. Uh, And aside from that, they will allow me to be stable on my own. Because I will never ask any man to take care of me. I will never ask them for a dime. I will not. Okay? I, I don't. You know why? Because, and that was something, that's my own personal belief. Why? Because I want that person to know that I don't want anything from them. That's why. And I want that person to not ask for anything for me. See, I remember this one girl, she was saying some bullshit, and I didn't agree with it. She's like, you know, love is about give and take. No bullshit. No, it's not. Love is about, you know, being self-sustaining. I want somebody who's able to stand on their own because I choose to stand on my own. I don't want somebody for their shit, okay? I don't. I want something more out of life than superficial bullshit, okay? I don't want to use people for their material goods, and I don't want anybody using me for mine. If I had any, that is, of course. So wrapping up this video, have a wonderful day.